Hi, I'm James Wampler. I teach 7th grade science in Shelbyville, Kentucky. Kentucky is a beautiful place. In Mammoth Cave, we have the longest known cave system in the world. The state is dotted with beautiful places to hike, bike, paddle, and sightsee. In Shelbyville, we don't have to go very far to see nature. Louisville, the closest city, is home to the country's largest municipal-owned urban forest and also hosts the world's largest fully underground zip line and indoor underground bicycle park. I teach in Shelby County, which is among the fastest growing counties in the state. As Shelbyville grows, it faces certain growing problems. This summer, I was invited to learn about National Geographic's geo-inquiry process, which helps school groups work logically through problems associated with geographic location. It splits the problem-solving process into five categories. Ask, collect, visualize, create, and act. In the ask phase, I put the question to my students. What problems do you see now that you think will increase as Shelby County grows? Students thought about this individually and then broke out into groups to look for common concerns. Once we got our concerns together, we put them on a dry erase board to look for commonalities. We landed on a question dealing with personal health. What can we do to improve the health of Shelby County residents? Now that we had a target, we began to collect information about it. We collected information on health within our student body, where we picked up on unhealthy trends brought on by a lack of basic nutritional understandings. We collected information on health within our state of Kentucky, where we learned that Kentucky had not been out of the top 10 most obese states for the last 20 years. And we looked at the effects of obesity on health, both personal and economical, and what the characteristics of healthy habits look like. Once information had been collected, students began to visualize. We mapped restaurants in the local area and compared that to maps of healthy alternatives such as farmers markets and produce markets. Kentucky houses the headquarters for restaurants such as KFC, Taco Bell, Texas Roadhouse, Papa John's Pizza, A&W, Dippin' Dots, Fazoli's, and Long John Silver's among others. We used virtual reality to take many field trips to areas of Kentucky that we were discussing. As we flew into Louisville, much like you would if you were in a jet landing at Louisville International, one clever observer noticed the irony that right next to our gigantic Yum Foods Stadium, that's correct, we have a stadium named after a fast foods company. Anyway, right next to this gigantic Yum Foods Stadium was the headquarters for what we learned was the fourth largest health insurance provider in the country, Humana. This helped us plan towards a solution which we called the Plant Project. People living actively, nutritiously, and transformationally. The Plant Project was broken down into different groups of students working on their passions. One group wanted to have a classroom garden geared towards immersing their classmates in an environment where they would be surrounded with healthy food and be able to think about where it comes from and what it looks like. As we brainstormed for a garden, we worried that an outdoor garden wouldn't have a particularly long growing season, and students wouldn't be as likely to expose themselves to it. So the plan became to bring gardens to the students with the installation of five indoor tower gardens for the classrooms in our school. The students refurbished used tower gardens, learned about hydroponics, and learned how to start seedlings. The educational power of the gardens was increased by augmenting them with touchboards that would tell the listener facts about the vegetables growing in them when the leaves were touched. Physical health was championed by another group that worked on increasing classroom fitness by assembling and installing classroom exercise machines, bicycle desks, elliptical machines, and a treadmill, while also working towards increasing the effectiveness of outdoor physical activity time. The project is currently sustained by the fundraising and community night teams, which have acted as a marketing group to raise awareness and educate families on healthy habits. Because this group was convinced that healthy practices would be best reinforced at home, the community night team was focused on providing families with movies centered around healthy eating and cooking meals in a budget.
We all work towards cooking healthy on a budget with the Plant Project Cookbook, made available to our families during each community night. We are excited to see the impacts of activities like the Plant Project on communities. For much of Kentucky's history, there was another thing that Americans consumed that killed them. Tobacco was our number one export until the 1980s. After many educational campaigns targeted towards the general public, we've seen its influence fade in our state. So to close this chapter for this year's Geo-Inquiry Plant Project, we took a VR field trip to the former Philip Morris Tobacco Processing Plant in Louisville to take a look at how positive changes to health in our state came about through education. While I would love to see positive drastic changes in our state's health immediately, growing plants in the classroom has taught me that anything bearing fruit takes time. I can't wait to see what my students grow up to do as they approach the world with a different perspective and apply this method of problem solving to their life situations.